Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today, we're going to talk about when people do bad in a business deal, business venture, or people just do bad in life, they always say the words, I got unlucky. So, Alex, what do you tell those people when they tell you they got unlucky when they tried to do something? What's your what's your number one reply to that? So the, the older I get, I realize I start to sound more and more like Kirby. Or inch closer to the old man. Inch closer. <laughs> My response to that would be they didn't try hard enough. That would be the only response I could think of for that. Because if I've learned anything through the process of what I've been doing for the past four years, it's there's always a solution to a problem. You just have to figure out what that problem is. And the higher your dreams are or your goals, the harder and more uncomfortable it's going to be to reach those goals. And that's just the reality. There's a reason why only 1% of the world's population is at the top, top and not the rest of the world. If it was easy, then everybody would have it, but it's not easy. And you have to be willing to do everything required. And I'm sure if you ask those people what failed them, you could find things that they could have sacrificed in order to just get that goal or complete that that mission that they had. There's always going to be something. But you all you always hear excuses from people. There's always something that they want to give an excuse to to exempt them from having completed their goal and you remind me of this as well when i have questions dealing working trying to work out a deal and i hit a block and i can't think of any other any other way to go about it and you give me ideas but you also tell me just what was it that you said? Because I don't want to misword it, but you said just basically just giving up or just not doing it. I don't know that language, something like that. Like, you're like, I don't, I don't know how to do that. You're like, um, you, you have to look for a solution always. Yeah. And I, I'm going to, I'm going to be nice here. Um, So when, when people say unlucky, I'm going to take it to the investment realm. When people say unlucky, they get into a stock and they say, oh, I was unlucky. No, you just didn't do your homework. No, you just didn't do this. And for some reason, everybody think investments is like the lottery. No, it's, it's nothing like the lottery. The more due diligence you do, the more work you put in, the more you get out of it. Like, I'll just use one, for example, when the meme craze is going on. I think they're doing a movie about it or whatever. Um, I think it's a dumb billionaire or something like that. It's just about to come out. The meme stocks when they was around and people, you know, made some money. And then me, of course, they, they call me and they tell me, I say, you need to sell at least half that position or you need to sell three thirds of that position. At least, you know, you lock money in, but they say, no, it's going to the moon. And then when it goes down is, oh, I got unlucky. No, that's the thing that, that pees me off the most is you know nothing about a certain area. You luckily got into it and then you make money. Then you call somebody that knows about it and they try to advise you and you don't listen to the advice. Why do you call me back and tell me you didn't listen to the advice? I would rather not say nothing to me, knowing who I am, and just be like, okay, I'm just going to be quiet. But it's not that they're lucky. They're too lazy. Um, Like, Alex, you know, I always talk about look around the corner. Like, even in the classes on Saturday that we do, I talk, I to always talk about what's happening. Like, when 20, when 2022 or in the middle of 2022, we talked about the things that's going to happen. We got the whole float chart of interest rates rise. I mean, demand rise because of all the stimulus checks and all that stuff, enhanced unemployment and all that. Then interest rates will rise. The interest rates will rise and they will curb demand. People will lose jobs. People will lose jobs. The economy will go into a flux. 
kind of going to influx and you see businesses closing down, which we already see. We see commercial real estate is in flux. We talked about that. We talked about being for sellers and we talked about people being for sellers and then the smart people will take advantage of it. We talked about that in 2022. So everybody in the class and the people that were listening, we even talked about it on YouTube, will start storing their past to take advantage of the inroads when for sellers are out there and you can get deals. Always looking around the corner. But I know 90% of the people that we talk to on YouTube and talk to in the class, they will not, they will, they thought like, oh, he's crazy. He's talking about stuff that they're not even talking about in the news yet. So they they didn't do anything. And then now the opportunities are rising. And then look, you're you're buying uh rental properties on a discount. You store the capital to take advantage of the situation that's coming around. So if somebody, so if somebody wanted to buy a house and they can't buy a house, especially when this thing gets worse because they don't have the capital, it's not because they were unlucky. They just didn't put in work to get it done. If you want to buy a house, the next one or two years is probably going to be the best time with high interest rates because these people are going to be four sellers that's going to need it. If you don't have the capital, it's not that you was unlucky. It was you wasn't paying attention. And I mean, I, I see it all the time in different realms that people just. They wait to see it in the news. And you know, my biggest thing is once you get to the news, you are late to the party. I mean, I remember back in. Uh, back the financial crisis, I know you were still you were still on the baby bottle by, at that time, but. But when. When the financial crisis was happening and then the real estate market already bottomed, I was already buying real estate then. It didn't get announced until two years later when when housing pricing was going up that the real estate market is already bottomed. So then people trying to rush to go buy properties and then next thing you know, we cascade into 2020. Now people can't buy properties at all because the prices are just too high. And then the the investors and the big companies start buying all the single family property, but they wait to hear the news from regular everyday media. They're not doing the research. They're not doing the work. And then they just think that like a lottery ticket, somebody's going to tell you you want. Somebody's going to tell you it's time. You have to do the homework. Just like everything else, you have to do the homework to be ahead of the curve to know what's going to happen. I would be a fool to know that Okay, let's talk about the pivot from Florida to Georgia. When, because I already had properties in Florida, and I was telling you, when you start buying rental properties, I'm pivoting out of Florida and moving up to, you know, Georgia and other states because the insurance and taxes and the price of the houses are getting too high. They don't cash flow in Florida. I was saying that two, what, two and a half, three years ago? It's just getting to the news now. I said it will be a migration out of Florida up to Georgia and up to some of these other southern states where rent is cheaper. We'll give you the ability to raise rent in the southern states because the people in Florida, they will rather they'll pay a higher price in another state because it's still a lower price there in Florida. Look where you at. You you have you have people calling you right now. They're coming from Florida into Georgia. So it's not about luck, it's about doing the work. Doing the work every day. If you're not going to do the work and research it, then it sucks to be you. And like you always say, I don't know, can't do it. I can't. No, it's always an answer. You just got to go find it. You got to go manipulate the situation. You got to understand the situation, what it is now. You understand the situation fully. Then how do I find a way to work around it? But giving up is, is not a thing. I always say you work to work it, work it, work it. And then right when you close on the property, I say, all right, now it's time to get to work. Now it's time to get to work. But most people just think it's, oh, it's just, oh, cut them on and off a light switch. It's just, it's for the work. If it don't work, it's because everything else didn't work out. They never want to take the blame for the stuff that they do. And that's my whole view on it. So I don't believe people are unlucky. I believe people just have a lack of effort and they think things are still supposed to be handed to them. In this game of investing in being an entrepreneur, you're the boss. You can't blame it on your supervisor now. You can't blame it on your coworkers now. The buck stops with you, but so many people have this worker mentality that they still want to blame other people for 
why they got fired from a job. When you become an entrepreneur, the only reason, the only way you're going to get fired from the job is because you failed to execute. So people just need to stick more onus on themselves. And in this generation that we build in today is this excuse based generation. That's what people are going to do. Which all it does in turn is just give us more opportunity to buy stuff at a lower price. Absolutely. And one thing I've learned too is the more you like when you're in a deal, it's just completing step by step. So a lot of people they seem to get too tied up on the end goal when like they're looking too far ahead and they're not looking at what's in front of them. And when you just complete the baby steps, the little steps right in front of you, the path gets clearer and clearer to, you know, where you you actually want to go. But too, pe- too many people, they, they go in panic mode and freak out because they're trying to look way ahead and then they can't get anything done. And then one thing, too, is not things are never going to go right. But when they don't go right, you have to come up with a plan to get it back on track and then still solve that problem. Yep, I agree. With all that being said, though, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.